Hello. Hello. Please continue to breathe up and down your pillar as we set up the energetic space. Yeah, we'll just call in the teams. We ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our divine presences, our guides, our ascension councils to work in harmonious group consciousness together. So the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for the here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally, calling on a divine presence communion temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. I feel how these energetic fields in your teams are merging with your pillar, raising your frequency. Feel how your spirit is merging a little more with you. And trust that you will receive everything, either verbally or energetically, that you need in the highest for you at this time. Beautiful. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. So we, we received from you your intention um, for this session today is to look into psychic attack awakening in the highest mission, gifts, healing, financial freedom, and love. So everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be doing everything. <laughs> uh, did you want to share some more with that? Uh, and channeling. I want to be able to channel as well. Channel. Okay. So really everything. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. All right. So, um, just, uh, softening your field and, uh, we will, um, allow the teams, the family of light to show us the way and, uh, see how much we get through and it will probably all be tied in to the one stream. So really surrendering, all up and we'll see what they would like us to start with. Yeah. And really, really sit in that deep trust that you will receive everything. And mm. as you relax more into that, then your spirit will more easily be able to flow everything through that you will want. And remember, you can re-listen to this recording over and over, over again, and you will get new energies and new nuances as you move forward over the coming months. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so first of all, they're bringing us to your parachakra. You actually have a, a very powerful activated portal here, and there's four streams of laser um, energies uh, that are very, very powerfully reaching out to the universe giving and receiving actually. So transmitting energy out, uh, communicating out and um, receiving energy back um, just sort of having a look at what it feels a bit blown out. So we'll just see what they would like to do here. It's to do with your own divine power. Mm. So first of all, get the, there's a cleaning of these four streams of energy reaching out. Um, there's, there's layers upon layers here. So, um, there's a cleansing going on. There's some influence, uh, in these areas. So they'll be cleansing these streams first, and then we will see what they'd like to do next. It's going to be a bit of a process. Yeah, and to keep things moving while that process continues, yes. um, Sananda and Archangel Michael stand behind your field and are bringing attention to uh, your angel wings there. And whether you've consciously connected to your archangelic wings actually or not, is showing that in the way you're manifesting them energetically is really small. And they're actually huge. And so this is just a perception shift they're saying, uh, which is parts of you believe that you're much smaller than you are. And this could link to, you know, some personality self doubts or not quite knowing how to expand into your larger spiritual mission. And so what they would like to do is peel back some of those illusions and peel back some of those 
um, uh, limited perceptions to actually be able to unfold your archangelic wings much more powerfully. And these will then be able to be used powerfully to bring in energies for channeling uh, and enhancing your life, raising your timelines, bringing in higher frequencies and protection, all those type of things. So this is that one stream that Ophelia was mentioning. This is all coming into one stream and it has to do with accessing to a, high, a higher level of your spiritual power. Mm -hmm. The belief in that raising timelines for the idea of timelines is simply like steps and stairs. So you walk up these steps and at a higher, at literally a higher stair, at a higher timeline, a higher frequency bandwidth, more of the good stuff exists, more of what you want exists and less of what you don't appreciate exists. And so by you raising your frequency, Another way to say it is drawing more of your spirit into your energy bodies. You will be able to access a lot more of all of these things that you've been reaching out for, calling out for, and uh, wanting to manifest. So they're, with your permission, they're wanting to peel back the layers now and the illusions and um, allow you to open up your archangelic wings um, more fully and expand them. Would that be comfortable for you? Yes, I give permission. Beautiful. Thank you. And so the portal um, in your Hara Chakra, uh, we have been invited to travel uh, in the, into the portal um, to Arcturus. Um, they have done some realignment of this portal and they would like for you, it's one of your gifts and masteries, um, they would like for you to seal this after you work with this uh, portal. You can travel um to Arcturus and to many other realms and within the universe. So allowing yourself to have time and space to utilize this portal, but to also seal it when you're not using it because um, it can burn you out with the reaching out for, for this energy, <clears throat> this um, wanting to have um, that constant sort of channeling energy throughout your day. And they remind you that you can be merged with your spirit in your daily life. And the way that you feel merged with your spirit is just feeling really good in yourself, feeling right. That's your, that's, that's that spiritual connection as you walk through your day. And, and they say you already do that very well. Um, but you skip out of it with emotionality and with mental, um, pulls here and there. And so as you, as you practice the remembrance that just by feeling, um, soft, you're, you are with your spirit, the, your spirit is merged with you. And so, um, as we are in no time, no space, we're going to, while the angelic wings are archangelic wings are being, um, worked on, we are going to begin traveling through to Arcturus now. You know, while we're traveling, the team wants to keep sort of multitasking mm -hmm. in this way. Together with the uh, unfolding and peeling back of these layers, the team is also showing particularly uh, Sananda and uh, Archangel Michael. Also, Lady Nada is there, Mary Magdalene. And so they're, they're, they're showing the energy of like a sort of a darker cloak around you that's very dusty and old, and it's kind of like uh, hunched over a little bit. So it's kind of like you're looking down uh, to the lower dimensions. You're looking a lot on earth, on earth. You're focusing a lot on uh, the what isness of uh, these energies. And so what they're wanting to do is to have you literally throw off that uh, dusty uh, concealing uh, cloak, like a hooded cloak off of you and sort of open up your, your, your heart and look up to spirit and that means bring spirit into these timelines and raise timelines in that way. So um, are you comfortable with the team also removing that whole old layer, like an old program, like an old way of being from you? Yes, I give permission. Beautiful. So this also, uh, the team will uh, work through that now as well as you are yes. also traveling with parts of your energy to Arcturus. Yes, we've arrived and we're in a temple space and um, you have many loved ones here that have stepped forth and um, mentors they share and friends and family 
and cosmic cousins, many beings coming in and surrounding you and you're being laid down on a crystal healing bed table where you will receive the transmission of pure love frequency from all of these beings. And so really allowing yourself to ah, melt, dissolve into this divine nurturing energy, surrendering, allowing your physical form to melt and truly receive from them this pure, the purest form of divine love frequency pouring from many beings of light that absolutely love and adore you on every level unconditionally. You are perfection and you are divinity. So receive into the pores of every cell and photon of your field now this divine love frequency. And as you do, the remembrance of who you truly are will merge in as the lower timeline will merge out, dissolve away as the old ideas of self identity dissolve away as you feel more and more divine love frequency penetrate deeper and deeper into every aspect of yourself, your soul, your energetic field, every particle and proton that makes up who you are. Feel that divine love frequency flowing and spritzing and enlightening, awakening, igniting, remembering, loving, 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 loving. And so in this state, expand your field from six feet, your heart sphere from six feet to 12 feet to 24 feet and hold this breathing up and down your pillar as you continue to surrender and feel the love. There are sonic waves of frequency that are shifting old patternings, old timelines, old layers of energy like clay around you, just shaking it up. They're, they're really showing it as, as if they're holding you on this divine, silky, soft blanket, and they're kind of lovingly holding you on it and shaking you up and so that any dust that's not you just falls away, falls away, and all that is left is the truth and the love and the divine being that you are. And you may see yourself even levitating above the table now and just being quite godlike, goddess like, quite Sananda, Christ consciousness, divine in all aspects, your arms wide open, floating with pure light. absolutely expanded shining light, the quintessence of God, goddess, the creator source you are one with. And any thoughts that come, remember the light and they are pushed out and dissolved, opening to the light, holding the light, holding the light, the truth of who you are, holding the light, holding the light, the sphere of light that you are, the connection to source that you are, the source that you are, the connection to Mother Gaia that you are, the source that Mother Gaia is, is the source that you are, feeling this divine being of light that you are, the source of light is within every aspect of you. You are an extension of source. Your spirit is an extension of source. You are an extension of your spirit. You are pure divinity. And this divine family holding you, each and every one loving you to the purest form, remind you to hold the light, 
hold this love and that is all you ever need to do and to be is hold your light to remember this is who you are. Hold your light, hold your love and all will unfold in divine order for you. Witnessing all in your life from a God-Goddess state. Witnessing yourself levitating through your life, this purest form of spirit here on earth, an angelic being of light flying freely through this life, shining light in every direction. Every being you touch, every being you witness, see, is touched by this divinity, blessed, transformed in some divine version that they allow into their field. And this is who you truly are. You do channel. You do have an extraordinary abundance of gifts, just as God, Goddess, this runs through you. This frequency runs through you. Hold the light. Hold the love. Hold your divine power and be. Feel your way from this state. Feel your way through your life as a god goddess on earth. Feel your way through and all is in divine order. All you do and be is channeling. Your vessel, your physical body is a vessel and all energy that moves through you is divinity without judgment. Pure divinity in every direction. Just being, you are anchoring this in Mother Gaia's heart and supporting her mission in sharing the light and holding space for every being on earth. Hold the light. This is a key mantra for you in each and every moment to remember this is who you truly are. This is who you truly are. And this you can have in each and every moment of your day even in the minute tasks of life, it can be in a divine state of being. Energetic practice, which the team would like to advise for you, if you so choose for the next around two to three months is when you do your pillar, if you regularly do your pillar, the advice would be once in the morning and once in the afternoon or evening. When you set up your pillar and when you live your daily life, on average, your pillar is sort of from your core being out to about five to five and a half feet. And what they would like for you to do starting after this session is to bring that out to eight feet, which is an enhancement of about 50%. And they'd like you to try and work on holding that a little bit wider for as you've taken off these cloaks and these layers and these protections and these ideas of you being smaller than you truly are, more of your truth will be able to flow through and your spirit will be able to bring this through. And so as you've expanded your energy pillar, you'll be able to expand yourself in the world and manifest these higher timelines and more of the good things that you have been calling out for in your life. So that is one of the practices is expand out to eight feet and you can simply intend that and in meditation, perhaps you've gone out to 12 or 24 or 48 feet. This is about your daily life. Set it up uh, from the beginning, not to normal six feet, but to eight feet. Mm. Uh, and do that for the next two to three months to really get used to it and make it a real habit for yourself. You'll find that then more spirit flow will be able to come into your life and it'll be easier to raise those timelines. So it'll be 16 feet in diameter across your pillar. That's right. Lovely. 
So question, uh, do you have a question um, you would like to ask right now? I'd like to call you goddess, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think you answered uh, all my questions, you know. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, you did. Yes, yes, yes. Great, great. Okay, yes. so let's see what they'd like to bring next. They're enjoying the multitasking within this, and you have that in your channeling. Mm. You're very multi. Uh, it's pretty easy for you to multitask um, in, on a spiritual level and likely in your life as well. And it's just about finding, uh, just literally lifting up to the belief and the truth that is already there. And so all of this is about combing back old illusions and old versions, smaller versions of yourself that you've outlived. It's almost like, uh, you know, you're, you're really lifting off, letting go of your old shell and you can step into this new version of you and allow yourself this practice over the next two to three months. Um, you know, you don't have to all of a sudden, ta-da, be there, let yourself get there, mm -hmm. but really make that effort to get there for expanding to the eight feet will be, will be big. And it will be really, really powerful and you're ready for it. And so really making that twice a day, your spiritual practice, clearing your energy, doing your pillar, connecting to your team, listening to any guidance you get, whether it's very clear words or symbols or colors or just directionality in your life. And this will bring you to these higher versions of frequency in your life where, again, all that you were after awaits you. Mm, beautiful. So we're going to travel back from Arcturus now and um, all of your loved ones are embracing you and saying their goodbyes with gratitude and appreciation for the journey you are on as they walk with you from their realm, their other side of the veil as you walk on earth. You are deeply supported and so we say goodbye and off we go back into the Divine Presence Communion Temple space. And so you can travel through your Hara Chakra. It's a very powerful um, traveling portal that you can utilize. You have a lot of divine power, a lot of divine power. And so this um, can reach out to um the entirety of the universe and you have four specific directions um, diag diagonally out, like out through your shoulders and then at the same sort of down way. So these are, these are basically they're offering for you to spend time in sacred space and just uh, anchor the temples and um jump on into your Hara Chakra and go where you would like to go, where you are guided to go. And then afterwards, ask for all this energy work to be sealed and for my Hara Chakra to be, uh, Hara Chakra portal to be sealed uh, in the absolute divine highest for me. So just ask for it to be sealed in the highest. And then when you want to work with it again, you ask for it to activate and open and constantly just um, cooling your Hara Chakra because there's so much power that wants to come through you that you can um, for the next couple of months, just focus on cooling your chakra because it was kind of uh, a little burnt around the edges. And so the power wants to flow through you. And so get used to more power in your field in a, in that, um, calm Zen with a bit of exhilaration. <laughs> and so you can ground through your, your more expanded pillar and witness more of your power and hold more of your power, love and light through all of this. Um, and be very conscious of it. Um, not sort of, um, just do something and feel so good that you don't seal things up is what they they're sharing. Just be very conscious of every, every, uh, step of your energy work, uh, in a relaxed way though, they share in a relaxed way. And so let's have a look what they'd like to do. There's, um, there's some energy in your soul star and it's, um, they're shining a light there. What is it they want with this? The divine union um, in your soul star chakra. So there's an infinity. They're just doing some alignment in your soul star chakra right now. 
While they're doing it, two other things they wanted to mention. So the Archangelic wings are fully out now, and you can compare them to solar panels that receive from the sun. This is what they'd like you to experiment with on the inner realms and in your day-to-day -day life is to energetically have your Archangelic wings out and receive energy from them to pep your energy up, receive uh, guidance, uh, connect to your teams, just really um, feel the energy in a room, in a space, in a group. So really allow yourself to use them like the idea of solar panels because they're very powerful as uh, energy receivers, particularly at this stage for you to um, also uh, allow you to uh, really comfortably hold that eight feet in all directions. They will help you with the energy to hold that expansion. The other thing is the cloak that was discarded before was really old and dusty. And a part of it was a little bit of protection for you, or you sort of built that as a little bit of protection from the world, potentially psychic attack, all that type of stuff. And because of your sensitive nature. And so Archangel Metatron is offering you now a very shiny new, um, platinum one that actually sits around your your aura and your energetic field at that eight feet in all directions and so whenever you feel you need a little bit of extra uh, protection or even a little bit of cloaking or a little bit of protection from psychic attack you'll just ask a metatron to help you to pop that cloak on and it's kind of not to conceal you but simply more to protect you as needed like an umbrella from the rain he smiles so uh, that's offered to you at this stage as well yeah, and to just focus a little more on your energy work. And um, when you are feeling, for example, psychic attack or any energies like that, it's usually because um, you have allowed your thoughts to go to certain areas or you've spent some time and um, allowed the energy there to saturate into your field. So just be, make conscious choices on where and how you spend your time and your thoughts and um, constantly clearing and not constantly regularly clearing and cleaning your field to remember your divinity that that's all energy clearing is about is to remember your divinity and then it can dissolve away again and you can hold that light and so that's the key really is for you to hold that expanded state of light and so we'll now bring the um, calling your expanded state from 24 back to the eight now. So holding eight feet in all directions from the center of your heart and breathing up and down your pillar. Your solstice chakra um, has been aligned. Um, it's all shiny and it's been opened and it's spinning a little faster than it was before. You may find that you'll be receiving um, clearer communication and remembering that clear senses can come in many different versions, feelings, knowings, symbols, communication from nature. Um, allow it your abilities to be as they are. You have programmed before you come into this life how you were going to experience spirit and that can evolve over time as well. So allow yourself to have your journey. You do not need to have anybody else's type of journey. And so continue breathing up and down your pillar now and we will bless this divinity and seal up the energy with yeah. this team is not they're very happy and complete uh, again with the reminder from archangel michael and sananda to um obviously your choice in the end with your free will to commit to this two to three month practice and you will really uh, feel the solidification of uh, this session and also listen to this session over and over and over and over again because they'll be able to continue to communicate in this space with you as you listen mm, beautiful Okay, we ask for yes. this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, divine love, divine light, divine power, sending all of this energy work down to the core of Gaia, accessible for all souls who are ready. We thank the teams and the temples for spirits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So be it. So be it. So be it. It is done. A couple of deep breaths up and down your pillar, if you will. And that is a beautiful divine expansion. Yeah, lovely. Well, lovely to connect with joy, holding the light and the love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I will. I will. Yes. <laughs> okay. See you too. Lots of love. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.